Christopher from T3 Media. Hi, Rosa. This is Chris Fagan with T3 Media. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Hi, Chris. Outstanding. Well, uh, first off, uh, I wanted to just say I really enjoyed this film. And I had a real good time with it. I can't wait to show my, my daughter because it had a, a lot of heart in it. And I, I really look forward to that someday. And I want to thank you for that. So. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's such a great thing to hear. Thank you. I'm so happy you guys get to see it. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and let me see. Okay, so there are a lot of manga fans out there who come with an idea of how a film with this type of source material should be developed and cast it. How do you convince those not yet sold on the adaptation of this adaptation of Alita, Battle Angel, that this movie had them in mind as well? I'm sorry, I, uh, I lost you towards the end there. Oh, how do you convince those not yet sold on this adaptation of the of Alita Battle Angel that this movie had the manga, the true hardcore manga fans in mind when it was made? Well, first of all, I can tell you that it has every bit of the same earnestness that manga has. You know, it's so funny when, <laughs> when, when movie critics who are like, um, they, I've seen them try to review it like it's La Ventura or something. You know what I mean? It's like, yes. this is a manga. This is a true manga. And manga fans are going to be the ones that recognize that the most um, because it's so earnest. It's incredibly earnest. And, you know, it, it moves at such an exponential rate. But not only that, Yukito Kishido was on board the entire time. And that's the step. That's how you really make an adaptation. You don't buy the property and say, thanks, buddy, and then you go make the Hollywood version of it. You don't do that because, as we can see, that doesn't work, and you end up alienating the very, your very fan base, your very demographic. You end up alienating the very people who are your built-in fans, which are the fans of the original property. So you keep the shit was on board, and we just, we told him we're making the cinematic version of this. Um, and we pulled a lot straight from the manga, right down to those big eyes, you know. So we were very, very true to it. I can tell you I spent an exorbitant amount of time with the source material because that was my main focus, was to make sure that I got her pitch perfect so that not just fans of the manga, but everybody could find, you know, that that universality, the universality in that character, but also the fans of the manga. So I wanted not only the fans of the manga to follow with her and, and, you know, validate what we did, but also people who have never read the manga to go and buy the manga because they're like, I have to read this now. Outstanding. I appreciate you. I'm, I'm going to give it to the, the uh, next person, but I, like I said, I can't wait to show it to uh, my daughter, not, not just my daughter, but my, my sons as well. I feel like you put a lot of heart in it, and I, I really uh, enjoyed the work, and I appreciate your time. Oh my God, thank you so much. Just remind them that we made this film for them. We made it for everybody, but it speaks to, it speaks to young, young boys and girls say, hey, you can find your power. It's inside of yourself. So I'm excited for them to see it. Outstanding. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, before I forget, am I even wearing the same clothes? Doesn't even matter. Movie magic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. Like if you like, share if you care, comment for a compliment, subscribe to the tribe. And if you want to know more about how you can send me a message and be a part of We Got Your Mail, that's coming up right here. Check this out.